But what they don't know is that my belief cancels them. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy, but I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. So here's Jesus. He says, I have come that you might have something. Say, have something. That you might have, possess it. So Jesus came that you might have a life get a life and not just a regular life but it a more abundant life now we can see here that by what jesus said him coming that you might have this more abundant life if you don't therefore have or live this life that jesus came to purchase for you then Jesus came in vain. Can you see that? Say, if I don't have and live this life, this abundant life, then Jesus came in vain. And aren't we talking about a great life, a life of greatest possibilities? The potential of this great life should increase with knowledge knowing the one that jesus sent the holy ghost he's the one who's in the earth today knowledge of him will take you to this abundant great life filled with supernatural potential in fact worshiping him the holy ghost in worshiping him is life exponential what's that greatest life a life of potential greatness what's it look like that's a good question to ask what does it look like listen what it looks like will change can you hear that what it looks like this abundant life will change now it, it used to look to me are you here it used to look to me this life like dying and going to heaven that's what it used to look like better than dying and going to hell for sure right but well, that's a pretty low bar if you think about it but through increased knowledge say increased knowledge my view of what that abundant life should look like changed i through knowledge of the holy ghost received the holy ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave me utterance when i began to do that my view of what an abundant life was began to change now in the circles i was in initially they didn't receive the holy ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues so in a way that their view of what an abundant life would look like wouldn't go there and then say and then i began to receive the word of god concerning healing and divine health that was not something that i had before and therefore my view of what an abundant life was changed to include that does this make sense now my view my view of an abundant life included healing and health which meant sickness was a thing of the past are you here 
and we saw what jesus said that the thief comes to kill steal and destroy and so the thing he was killing stealing and destroying was my health but he came to get rid of that and give me life that's more abundant than sickness and disease and again what it looked like to me abundant life changed the abundant life itself didn't change but my view of it my understanding of it changed as i had more knowledge it increased with knowledge well i was here in that place dying going to heaven maybe not dying so quickly because now i was healed and had health and i was there for years years and years and years that's pretty much what at least the circles i ran in believed abundant life was but eventually through knowledge again increased knowledge prosperity came along the idea that god wanted me to prosper and because that idea came along and those scriptures came along my view of what an abundant life was changed again it changed to include not just healing and health but prosperity second corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 for all the promises of god in him are yea and in him amen unto the glory of god by us so can we find any promises of god that had to do with prosperity the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it that's a promise of god his answer was yes and amen and therefore my view of what an abundant life or life more abundantly changed with that increased knowledge are you still here well this prosperity message as it's called by some was rejected by most people they wouldn't go here <laughs> rejecting those very promises of god and so because they rejected that they never got here to the more abundance of prosperity but do you suppose that this abundant life this increased abundance of life stopped just because they wouldn't go here did this abundant life stop just because you got more money no there's more say there's more see but you have to go out beyond where others are to get the more i'm reminded of dr dufresne's meetings dr ed dufresne he was a mentor of mine for many years and he had a message of healing and he would go to these churches that believed in healing and health and he would give an altar call for people to come up that needed some kind of healing and almost the entire church would get up and get out into the aisles and to go up front to have some kind of healing ministered to them it says to me that these people were not walking in the healing and health that that abundant life brought to them through knowledge of those things and so we see these people not walking in the abundant life and i've been in every one of these circles and none listen none of them worshiped the holy ghost as god not once did i hear them say the words i worship you holy ghost not the baptists and i preached in their churches not the pentecostals i preached in their churches not the word of faith people none of them worship the holy ghost i know by now you must have heard of what's called the cancel culture you've heard of that right the cancel culture a social construct designed to silence people that they disagree with and keep them in line through fear intimidation and loss of income the church however has been doing this very thing for years they cancel people that they don't agree with the church has become experts at it the pastor better not speak on this the pastor better not go there or i'll i'll get up and take my tithe somewhere else i'll leave 
and it's often been along the lines of these things I've already spoken about speaking in tongues you mentioned speaking in tongues in some churches forget about it you are canceled you speak about God's will to heal you and for you to live in divine health canceled let alone talk about prosperity God wants to prosper you well I've been canceled by the best of them I've already been not invited to thousands of churches because they know that I am going to talk about worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and they don't but what they don't know is that my belief cancels them they have become insignificant to me like a voice that's small and far away they can't go where I go now, two verses real quickly 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is freedom so where the Spirit is Lord there's freedom there's liberty there's an abundance of life that you can't have if the Spirit isn't Lord Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship these are the words of Jesus thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve where the Spirit Lord is there's liberty where the Spirit is Lord there's liberty thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve now the Lord is that spirit say now the Lord is that spirit thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve there's a liberty in worshiping the Holy Ghost who is the Spirit Lord that you can't access and will never listen you will never access it without worshiping him first I won't even begin to mention the word only in the middle of that verse but in this room this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost as God using the words I worship you Holy Ghost in my estimation they've already been canceled because they don't do this they don't go here they're not in this room first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 1 now concerning spiritual gifts brethren I would not have you ignorant a better translation is now concerning things pertaining to the spirit brethren I would not have you ignorant look down at verse 4 now there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit what spirit the Holy Spirit there are differences of administrations but the same Lord what Lord the Spirit Lord there are diversities of operations but is the same God which works all in all what God the Spirit God the Holy Ghost here it says there are differences of administrations the new administration of the Spirit Lord is different can you hear that it's a perfect administration that was not accessible to people who don't worship him as the Spirit Lord things are administered the administration of the spirit things are administered differently over here in this room worshiping him the administration thereof is glorious stop spending so much time worrying about what's happening to their system spend time developing in yours Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 14 says the earth shall be filled with what the knowledge of the glory of the Lord what Lord the Spirit Lord the earth shall be filled with the knowledge so it's going to be increased in the knowledge of the Spirit Lord Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 write the vision 
and make it plain upon tables that he may run that reads it how do you write the vision and upon what table are you to write it psalms 45 1 says my tongue is the pen of a ready writer and your heart is the tablet upon which you write it so what are you writing on you're writing on your spirit man you're writing on your heart what are you to write there the new administration of the spirit holy ghost worship if you don't think that worshiping the holy ghost i worship you holy ghost is a new administration of the spirit then you've not been doing it enough you have to do this until it is thoroughly administered written on your heart write the vision make it plain upon tables that he may run that reads it you will begin running in a direction you weren't running in before worshiping the holy ghost and speaking his word verse 3 for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak what shall speak that which you have written upon your inner man and what you will find is worshiping the holy ghost and speaking in agreement with his word is a whole new life an abundant life this opens to you a life of abundance that you couldn't even enter into before you didn't even know it existed what's that look like well certainly it will include dying and going to heaven certainly it includes healing and health and prosperity abundant prosperity say abundant prosperity but there's even more in here in this new administration of the spirit that is glorious glories that you can't quite see yet because you must be changed into the person who sees it be ye transformed by saying be ye transformed by saying you're transformed from one thing to the next from one glory to the next by worshiping the spirit lord obtain that life that was bought for you by the lord jesus christ and is being brought to you by the holy ghost himself it's by your knowledge of him that your greatness appears holy ghost i thank you for blessing these people that they've heard your word this evening and great changes are about to take place says the spirit lord as you enter into this room worshiping me and speaking my words the limits have been taken off and are being taken off of you we worship you holy ghost and we thank you for it in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost i am your worshiper your i speak in agreement with your word ghost, all good things begin moving day. in my direction i enter into them ghost, and am established in the greater life that jesus bought and paid for ghost, in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god in the earth to 